Top 10 Time Consuming Computer Issues There are several ways to speed up your computer and cut down the time you waste getting things done, here are a few tips on how to speed up your Windows 10 PC and save time when using your computer. 1. Wasting time on social media Ok this first bit of advice isn't speeding your computer, but it will save you a heck of a lot of time. Time spent on social media can quickly add up and take over your life. If you use Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, there are third-party website filtering extensions you can download and add. Check out the links in the description below to regain your time back. 2. Internet connection not working depending on where your connection is broken will determine what the fix is. Here's a quick troubleshooting checklist. 2.1. Are any lights red on your router? Switch off and back on again and wait to see if that fixes it. Check cable connections into the wall and the router. 2.2. Is your Wi-Fi working? Again, switch your laptop, computer or device off and back on again. Can you connect to the Wi-Fi now? Does the Wi-Fi light flash when you attempt to connect to your router? If you can connect to Wi-Fi but cannot access the internet it could be an issue with your internet service provider. Contact them to see if they have outages in your area. See our recent video how to fix the 8 most common issues with Wi-Fi textured online.com slash blog slash how dash to dash fix dash the dash 8 dash most dash common dash issues dash with dash Wi-Fi. 3. Unable to connect to a printer. This is a very common issue and one that most computer users have experienced at some point. With the wide range of printers that are available it's almost impossible to give you a fix for your specific make and model of printer, so here's a simple troubleshooting guide. Turn your computer off and then on again. 3.1. Is the printer plugged in and switched on? 3.2. Is the connection between printer and device plugged in correctly? 3.3. If it connects over Wi-Fi or your network check your Wi-Fi is working, and your network is all okay. 3.4. If you have a multi-purpose machine try to make a copy or a scan to check if the printer is working. 3.5. Check the printer's control panel, are there any errors showing? 3.6. Update the printer drivers, visit your printer manufacturer's website and use your make, model or serial number to find the right drivers for your operating system. Anything more than this may require more in-depth diagnostics and we are happy to come out and help you, remember with TechShed there's a no fix, no fee guarantee. 4. Computer overheating. If you have a device that is running hot, this can reduce the lifespan of the machine, especially if it is a laptop. A little bit of preventative maintenance can really prolong the lifespan of your computer. 4.1 Dust the keyboard with a soft bristle brush like a clean paintbrush or makeup brush 4.2 Switch off your machine and gently use a vacuum on the devices The ventilation holes 4.3 Carefully remove any covers and using a can of compressed air blow out accumulated dust. Having a dirty machine can slow down your device especially if it has a fan, it may be clogged with dust so learning how to clean it and check it will definitely prolong the usable life of the machine. 5. Your PC has slowed down part 1. If you have cleaned your machine and the temperature is running in the correct range then it is likely your computer could do with a bit of a spring clean. Start by defragging your hard drive, this organizes the data so relevant data is organized more optimally. 5.1 Select the search bar on the taskbar and enter defrag. 5.2 Select defragment and optimize drives. 5.3 Select the disk drive you want to optimize. 5.4 Select the optimize button. You can then delete all old programs and unwanted data. 6. Your PC has slowed down part 2. Update your machine, download all the latest patches and security fixes that are relevant. Check startup apps, these are apps that boot when you start your computer. In Windows 10 Open Task Manager, Control plus Alt plus Delete. 6.1, click the Startup tab. 6.2, look at Startup Impact, value 6.3. This is a good way to spot apps that are likely to slow your system down. 6.4, look for apps labeled High and stop them from running automatically. To stop a program from launching on login, right-click and choose Disable. 
7. Your PC has slowed down part 3. Sometimes the slowdown isn't easily fixed with the above steps and it may be that newer software is making your older hardware struggle. The best way to speed up your computer, in this case, is to add some more memory and an SSD hard drive. This is slightly more involved than the other steps above but if you are looking for a pick-me-up for your PC this is the way to go. More memory allows the newer software more room to do what it does. SSDs do not have a spinning metal disk that takes time to spin up and have the stylus find the data and read it back. It's just solid state memory which has a massive speed boost when compared to spinning disk hard drives. 8. Quickly find a file starting with a good file structure helps you prevent missing files. Use a file structure that gives you an idea of where the file may be situated. You might start with 27 folders. A to Z and 1 for numbers. 0123456789 then create folders for various interests, motoring, customers, projects etc. Or you may have a folder for each customer. Whatever you use to try to keep it simple so you can quickly scan your folders and remember where the files are likely to be. Keeping everything on the desktop is not the solution. 9. Remove bloatware Computers get shipped with all sorts of useless, unwanted software, often known as bloatware, as it just takes up space and never gets used. You may have also installed software for a specific purpose and never use it again e.g. creating a website design. All these bloatware items take up space on your hard drive and can slow down your computer booting up. So take these steps. 9.1 Make a backup of your computer, using your favorite backup software. 9.2 Review all programs installed. To check apps go to Control Panel, Programs, Programs and Features, Uninstall a program. 9.3 Remove the software after checking your really don't need it. 10 Lost data and no backups. We are often contacted when it is too late, customers want us to resurrect a dead computer and we find that it is the hard drive and all their data is lost. If you only have your data in one place, on your hard drive, then it is not safe and secure. A full backup of your entire system is the best strategy to protect you against data loss. To create a Windows 10 system image backup do the following. 10.1 Right click the start button to bring up the hidden quick access menu 10.2 Select control panel 10.3 Once you have control panel open click back up and restore Windows 7 10.4 Then click create a system image on the left side of the menu You can then use an extra internal or external drive, a network location, or burn a DVD if you have a Mac you have Time Machine built in, and you simply plug in your device and click Time Machine, Backup Now. Do not forget to do this. Set your system to backup your computer regularly. A week old backup is better than no backup, but a daily backup each night will definitely, be the best way to protect your data. Remember all hard drives are going to fail, whether it is tomorrow, or in 5 years time, they will fail so you want to have a backup when they do. That's the biggest time savers we can offer right now. But if you want to save the most time call us and we'll come out and fix your computer at your location. With our no fix, no fee guarantee. If your computer is slow and has problems booting up call us for emergency IT support on 01932 or visit www.texturedonline.com.